Okay, everybody, uh, it's Jakob Frupis, so hope you all are well. Uh, in the past, we reviewed the, MC, the Mincam MC30, and today we'll be reviewing the Mincam 360, which has now replaced the MC30 as my go to camera. And in this review, you'll see why. So stay tuned, don't go away. We're going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so this is what you're going to get you're going to get the camera, you're going to have an optional stand, and you're going to get that little box over there. Okay? The first thing I want to show you is the optional carry case, the carry stand, the trolley, whatever you want to call it. That is super important. I first bought the camera without that and it was impossible to lug around. So I'll show you how this attaches to the camera and how easily you can pick up the camera up the stairs. Look at these wheels. Good wheels. They really designed this very well. Let's take a look at that. Amazing. Okay guys, let's get started. I'm going to throw in the, uh, the 360 into the sewer. I'm going to show you how it, how it works and how it pushes through. Um, I want to mention a couple things. First of all, look at the difference in size between the MC30 and the 360. Pretty significant. 360 is not a light machine. It's definitely pretty bulky, pretty heavy. Um, I've compared it to the Agilius from IPEC. Huge weight difference. The Agilius is much lighter. I think it has an aluminum frame. So it's definitely heavy. It's definitely a downside. Um, but you know it is bulky yeah it's kind of robust that's it's, it's robust let's put it that way so it's um, it's not gonna get damaged very easily on the bottom we have these uh, uh, on the legs these are actually removable I've seen people uh, put wheels on here instead of using the carrying uh, trolley which I found kind of interesting um, we have a pelican uh, case for the monitor the monitor is mounted on the camera, which is pretty awesome. You basically loosen up the ball over here, and you pick it up. And then you, uh, then you, you got this swivel over here. Let's put it that way. And then you can open up the case pretty easily. Just like that. This is a very, very sturdy case cover. Waterproof, it looks like to me. Got a gasket over there. And then here's your removable remote control, which I find pretty awesome. I love this removable remote control. Uh, much easier than using uh, the control board on the camera, which you could do. Um, let's turn on the camera. That's the power button right there. The screen turns on. It tells you if everything's okay or not. It says testing button's passed. Um, so it's about 10 seconds to turn on. Then you want to turn on your control panel over here. All right, you take out the camera head from storage over here. There's your lock right over there. Um, one downside is actually this cord over here. It wraps up around over here and it doesn't really stay in place so well. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's pretty much of a downside, which I don't like. Um, for such an expensive camera, you're expecting to have a good place to store the, the cables. But, uh, so that's that's what it is. We got two batteries over here. Okay, you could pull them out. You could buy an optional uh, battery charger um, as well. It's nice, it's an extra amount of money if you want to go for it. If not, keep them in here, charge them inside there. Um, there's an optional Wi-Fi, so instead of going through the, uh, the monitor over here, you can go on a, uh, you can look on a tablet or something somewhere else, which is also pretty, pretty handy. I don't have that, but it's an option. Um, pretty thick cable. Now, in terms of how long you can push this out, I have gone in a four inch line, I think about, let's say two meter distance horizontal, nine degree bend, and then I went up eight stories high. Easy push, which I found was pretty fantastic for the work I do. Um, then a couple weeks ago, eight inch pipe. Now I'm gonna show you what we have for those, uh, 
for eight inch pipe. I'll show you the skids. All right, so we put the, the wheel skids on and I pushed out the entire length. I think it was it's 50 meters. The entire length I pushed out, um, no problem. No problem at all the entire distance. Um, and then I went up, that was going down. Then I went upstream about 30 meters also. Um, it just pushed like butter, which is pretty amazing. So uh, I got the uh, eight inch wheels on here. You could take off the wheels and put on wheels for the six inch as well. Um, it has basically two screws over there. All you do is hook it on right here and screw it in, you're done. Now, they do give you an optional place. Uh, you can put some rods in here, so instead of pushing with the cable, if you're having difficulty for whatever reason, the type of pipe, you can push it in, you can put a rod in there and push at the same time. Um, because this is a 360 camera, you're gonna have to fill it up with the gas every once in a while, so you can do it yourself or you can go to the shop. Very important, what I think, is that when you're buying a camera, uh, you wanna have a service center nearby. So I don't care what kind of camera, it's the best camera in the world, if you don't have a service camera, a, a, a service center, who cares? You know, that definitely has to be a, a factor in the equation. Um, so here's, uh, the sound goes right in the middle over here. That's the camera head. Uh, pushes pretty easily through 90 degree bends. I can't compare it to other cameras because I haven't used other cameras. Uh, this is my, uh, this is the biggest camera that I have. Um, so how it compares to other cameras in terms of how it goes through bends, I can't tell you. Um, all right, so next thing we're gonna have is there's an optional uh, option over here. You can take off this piece over here, basically a few screws, unscrew it, and you can put on a, uh, another piece that lets you go up up through Ys, up through Ys. So if you're going up a ladder and you have a Y, okay, there's this thing you put on with the wheels, and as you turn around the head, it spins around as well, and you can go into a Y, which is pretty neat. I don't have that yet, another added expense. I haven't gotten that yet, but it'll be pretty, pretty neat. Um, here's your uh, here's your four inch skid. It's very easy, on screws. You just throw it on there, you throw it on, and then screw it on. Do you have another uh, a piece that you can put on the back over here that lifts the camera up? Um, I don't have it on here right now, it must be my other basket somewhere. I'm actually going to put this on right now. Uh, the lights are pretty good, pretty powerful. Does the job. There's um, When you go inside, let's say you go through a lateral and then you go into a manhole and you want to light up that manhole, there's a star feature right here. What it does is it lights up one, two, three, four, five. You have the, the, the five plus five. You have ten lights over here. It lights them all up at once. That way you can basically light up the entire area. Because um, generally the lights actually follow the camera. So if the camera's in the front, only the lights in the front are going to light up. If I put the camera over here, only the lights over here are going to light up. So that's it. That's uh, that, that saves obviously on battery life um, and saves on battery life. Okay. The joystick. Very nice. Very intuitive joystick to move that camera around and up and down. You can have the light feature as you have them there as well. So you want it brighter or dimmer. I like how on the MC30 there's a dial for the light. This doesn't have a dial. I personally would have preferred a dial. It just works quicker. I'm pretty fidgety so. <laughs> Next, we're going to open up the sewer. We're going to start going and then I can show you some more of the features. All right, now that we're inside, we're gonna show you a few more things. We got one button over here 
which you can press to record. Another button for taking a picture. Um, we got other buttons there. No need to go into that right now. As you can see, this is a crystal clean image. We are going to uh, lighten that up. We are now speaking through the camera of the monitor. As you can see, if I want to turn on and off the camera, the, the microphone, it's just a press of a button, which I like as well. On the top, you got the name, Purpose Plumbing. You could change that very easily. Now, if you want to see better, you can take those off very easily. Uh, you can put them back on, whichever one you want. You can take the bottom one off as well. The bottom you have um, your, your gradient, which I don't really trust so much, so well. Uh, you have your time, you have your meter counter. Now the meter counter, you could obviously very easily uh, reset. And uh, let's take a look. Let's go push this in. I'm gonna first unplug this because it's getting in our way. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna slide this in, slide sliding in very nicely. We're gonna get over to a connection. I'm gonna show you some pretty neat with the camera with this uh, feature. Okay, so we're at a connection right now. All right, so I could I could go I could go down. Okay, let's say I don't know if I'm up or down, okay? I got this button right over here where we push. And voila, we're, we're back where we need to be. Um, let's go down over here. That's as far down as it goes, okay? It doesn't go any farther down, but you can go straight up. And then, hold on, let's go back to that, uh, that connection. So I can go straight up. Then I can hit a button over here, which does a 360 rotation around here to take a look at that connection. Now, if I wanted to go straight down, you know, I'm gonna go push that feature again and get back to where I need to be. Now, I can't go down. What I could do is I could rotate the camera head, okay, and then I could go straight down. That, that's what you can do. So let's go back. You also have another feature where it can pan. You see that? I think it's a 180 feature. I don't really use that so much, so I'm not going to really talk about that. Let's go back to where we need to go to. We're going to push that back in. Look how easy that pushes in. All right. What I was talking about, that skid you could buy, is if I wanted to get into this uh, branch right over here, I can't go there now. But if we had that at uh, attachment, I can go straight inside. So instead, we're going to keep going straight. Now I use this camera. This this camera is essential for me um, because uh, we do a lot of leak detection inside of buildings, and we want to know if there's a crack or a, or a hole in the pipe. And sometimes you can't really uh, you can't really tell without the 360 feature. Once again, there you go. You can go look into that into that right there. Kind of nicely that turns around. You can inspect that. You can go back. We're actually an HD PE pipe. Not much to see here, pretty boring pipe. We're gonna go a little further in. This is pushing in. I'm going I'm going up upstream and uh, it's pushing in like butter. Now another feature on this uh, camera is that you know you could you could type things in. So if I want to be like uh, let's say it's the main line, you know, I could write in the main line over here and then take your picture so you know that's what you're looking at. Uh, you can write the address of the house if you want, uh, whatever you know, whatever works for you. You can also write in the middle of the screen if you want to. Uh, you can actually have a blinking cursor uh, and then the blinking cursor you can move around and show people uh, what's going on. Another branch over there. Let's go see if we can get to the end of the line. No root intrusions on this line. No disconnects. Fairly boring pipe. Let's say if you wanted to look at, I want to know if there's a butt. Let's say you want to know if there's a butt weld or electro fusion joint, so I can look up and I can clearly see that's a butt weld right there. Um, I can go over here, and uh, that's going to be our toilet that you're looking at. That bend right there. 
And on the left, you got a little T over there. Let's see if I can get inside the sewer and push this. Because as of now, my foot, I can't push it in. There we go, that was pretty easy. That's pushed right out. It's climbing out of the sewer, that's why it's a little difficult. Okay. So now let's say I wanted to look into that two inch line to see what's going on. You know, I can see that connection pretty clearly. Okay, so we're gonna talk about one thing which I don't like about this camera. And that is the, uh, the autofocus. This is an autofocus. Uh, this is this this camera's autofocus, as opposed to like the Agilius, which is going to have a um, a manual focus. So let's say I'm too close to a certain point, and here I have the skid on, so you're not really seeing that. But sometimes you get like you're too close to the wall of pipe, and it's not in focus. And you want to get in focus, so you can either move the camera head around, or sometimes you just can't do it, and you want to get a manual focus. So you can't, it won't let you do manual focus on this camera. So I'm a, I'm a guy who likes to do manual focus. So that kind of bugs me out. Um, that you can't do manual focus. That for me, that's one of the biggest downsides in this camera that you can't manual focus. Now I'm gonna roll this guy back up. Push it back in. I think we got everything covered. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some footage from uh, from other uh, other uh, other camera footage from other jobs, uh, so you get a different idea on different uh, different types of pipe, uh, what it looks like. Now one more feature which I don't want to forget about is here, that's the sand. And what I like about the sand is that on my MC30, when you hit the sand, you lose the screen. But here when you hit the sand, the sand turns on and you still have the screen, which for me is a big A+. Okay, but now we're actually going to show you some other videos um, that I've taken on my, on my camera. Maybe some cast iron, maybe some plastic. We'll see where it goes uh, so you get a, a better idea. Alright, check it out.
Okay guys, I hope the video uh, gives you some uh, food for thought and points you in some directions. As usual, any questions, ask me in the comments below, shoot me an email, whatever works for you. And uh, if you can show me some love and hit that uh, subscribe button, smash the like button, it would be awesome. Thank you, have a good day.